pre-registering at the Universidad Pontificia Comillas. Comillas requires that all admitted students pre-register on their website. In this video, I will comment the two PowerPoints the university has provided with instructions on this process and focus particularly on Georgetown student needs. As you may recall, I will assign each student a specific school based on the study proposal. The actual major at Georgetown does not affect this decision. School affiliation at Comillas is purely bureaucratic in nature and responds to the number of classes each student plans on taking in a given school. You must take at least three classes from the school assigned to you. If later you see that you should be assigned to a different school because you decide on taking more classes in the other center, we can modify the affiliation once your class options are clear. To do this, you will need to contact me first. So now let's focus on the PowerPoints. The first one is the application procedure to begin once you've been nominated. You should receive this welcome email from the school you've been assigned to. Take note of the important information, instructions, and the deadlines provided. Click on the link and enter your data. Agree to the legal terms. And complete the information on your university coordinator. I have written this data out for you in this video image. Continue to fill out your personal data using the name that appears on your passport. Most of you will not have a second last name, thus you should leave it blank. Include your next of kin information and the remaining data that they request. If you plan on using a Spanish cell phone number, you can leave that field blank for the time being, or write your American number and later modify it once in Spain. Attach a copy of the passport you'll be using in Spain. If you have two passports, for example, a European one and an American one, you will need to decide which will represent you on all the documents in Spain, including your university transcripts, transportation pass, etc. This does not have to be the same passport that you use to enter the country. For example, in this specific case, you could very well enter the country with a European passport so you do not need to obtain a visa. But once in Madrid, identify yourself as an American for all documents. If at Georgetown you're enrolled as an American citizen, it does make sense to maintain that nationality on your Comillas transcript. Also read the attached documents and know you can return to this application to modify information or print at any time. Attach a headshot or ID photo of yourself, such as your passport picture. The background should be white. Please keep it professional, no prom or party pictures. This is all you need to do by the mentioned deadline. Make sure to check your new Comillas email periodically for future communications. Now let's look at Step 2 and Step 3 of the procedure. Step 2 should be completed prior to arriving to Madrid and during the add drop period since it concerns selecting classes. Usually about a month before classes begin, the course schedules will be ready and you may begin to select classes. The school will notify you by email and will provide you with an Excel sheet with this information. It's important to note that you may only pre-register for classes offered in the school to which you are affiliated. The classes from the other schools will not appear as options in the registration site. For this reason, I will send you the Excel sheets with available classes of both schools by email. Once you have received these, directly pre-register for those classes that you can and send an email to your Comilla school advisor requesting the other classes from the different school. They will have to register you manually for these after consulting with the other school. This is a special privilege given to Georgetown students since most exchange students do not have the freedom of selecting classes outside the assigned school. So please, think it through and make sure that the schedules are compatible before requesting this favor. They will not be willing to continuously make changes for you. Basically, you can request classes once before arriving and one final time during the add drop period. Also remember that you may not take classes in English, so make sure you select the appropriate groups. Follow the outline procedure to pre-register for classes. You can find these by typing in part of the name of the course or subject matter for a listing of classes. You'll be able to modify the courses selected within your school as many times as you wish until the end of the add drop period. I highly suggest you pre-register for all 33 credits, even though you only need between 25 and 30 credits. This way, you can add some backup classes. Afterwards, during the add drop period, you can try out all the classes and then eliminate those that do not work for you. Some classes do fill, and if these are important for you, sign up on the waiting list. For this reason, I advise you to pre-register for classes as soon as possible. Again, you'll be able to modify this class selection once in Madrid. If you have requested classes from a different school, include these as part of the 33 credits allotted. 
It may take a while for these classes to appear in your pre-registration, especially if you requested these during the university holidays, such as in August. However, if you arrive to Madrid without a confirmation on these special request classes, do not panic. It's possible they have not been able to address this request yet, and will do so during the orientation. Now let's briefly look at Phase 3, Final Class Registration. You will fill this out once you're in Madrid. Comillas will ask you for local contact information, such as your address in Madrid. You will also be asked to indicate your Georgetown Study Abroad Insurance policy information and upload the ID or letter. Once you have decided on your class schedule during the ad drop, you will need to finalize registration by emailing a series of documents to the school office. This will include downloading all three phases of the registration process and signing the documents. More details on this last step will be given during the Comillas orientation on site. Remember to always check your Comillas email address and take some time to look at the last information uh, such as uh, the Facebook page or other student groups as well as the Comillas app. I hope these comments were helpful and you can consult the PDF version of the Comillas PowerPoints to review at a slower pace the step-by-step -step process.